You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Humor in the Bible. Book One. Genesis. I'm going to pass over Genesis chapter one because that chapter is just too majestic and grand to have a great deal of humor in it. Though I can't help but imagine how a Judean in exile would have read the bit in the middle when we get to the fourth day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. You see, those lights in the sky were some of the most important gods and goddesses of the Babylonian pantheon and the lesser light that was the god favored by the last king of Babylon Nabonidus and why were these lights in the sky made why to be signs for seasons and days and years in other words to be a calendar and a PDA to remind those poor humans who are forever forgetful to get their stuff planted on time and reap when stuff is ripe and above all to attend worship on the appropriate days worship of the one true God yep I can imagine those Judeans having a little chuckle but chapter one isn't really humor packed so let's move on to chapter two or maybe even chapter three it's not too far into the book is it now chapter three he is full of really serious stuff it's the tale of the very first sin and of how sinfulness crept into humankind and how its consequences have blighted our lives ever since it's deadly serious both literally and metaphorically deadly but chapter three in Hebrew makes a great play with the word naked punning it with the word for smart or clever that's used to describe the snake the snake says to the woman did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden the woman said to the serpent we may eat from the fruit of the trees in the garden but God said you shall not eat from the fruit of the tree that's in the middle of the garden nor shall you touch it or you shall die but the serpent said to the woman you will not die for God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like God knowing good and evil so that's the payoff eat the forbidden fruit and you become like God so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise she took its fruit and ate and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked so they sewed fig leaves together and made well some kind of garment any kind of garment any kind of garment at all because we're naked Ooh. you see there has to be humor there with their grand dreams of becoming like God and all they gain is a knowledge that they're naked and the desire to hide their nakedness oh it's deadly serious but it sure is funny now of course there's lots more humor in Genesis 50 chapters many of which contain either a smile or a laugh but for my purposes in doing these podcasts just the one example will do humor in Genesis just read the first couple of chapters but don't expect punchlines because that's not how biblical humor works biblical humor provokes wry smiles more often than it provokes knockabout guffaws though as we'll see later there are quite a few knockabout guffaws in the Bible in the meanwhile watch your pretensions keep a close eye on yourself when you think you might be like God or no better than God because when you think like that for sure you'll be needing those fig leaves bye for now <laughs>